Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On this video, I am gonna show you guys how to make the best delicious beef taquitos. For this recipe, we're gonna need about four pounds of boneless chuck, beef chuck. So I have about 2.9 pounds on this one and 2.19 pounds on that one. So that is why I have two of these. Gonna need three small potatoes, three garlic, two Roma tomatoes, one onion, some salt. I do like to use the sea salt. And then of course tortillas to roll the tacos, some um, Kobe Jack cheese, which I'm gonna shred, and some avocados. How can you tell when the avocado is ready? Is when you see that little brown circle, see right there? That is when you can tell this avocado is ready. And these are gonna be for the topping. And I am gonna show you guys my secret to roll the taquitos. I do not use toothpicks. I am gonna show you my trick today. So let's get started. Okay, so what you want to do first is you want to wash your meat and then you want to cut it into big chunks like that. So in this pot, I have hot um, water. So we're just going to go ahead and put our meat in here. Here I have the onion, three garlics, two Roma tomatoes. So we're just going to put this in here. And we're going to add one onion. Gonna add some salt and then the potato because this is gonna cook for about two hours, about two to about two hours to two hours and a half. So once I get close to the meat being ready, then I'll, I'll go ahead and um, cut the potatoes and cut the potatoes in cubes. And this will take about 20 to 25 minutes for the potatoes to cook because I really want them nice and tender. So here we're just gonna add salt. And we're gonna put the lid and let this cook for about two hours to two hours and a half. Go. I'll come back and show you this. So when I cook my meat, I always make sure that I don't close the lid fully shut like that. I just kind of leave it. See what happens? So can I leave it like that? And you want to make sure that you see all that. <clears throat> stuff that's on top you want to go ahead and take your spoon and you remove this so this you remove it okay and i just put it here and then i dump this throw it away so I just make sure to remove all of that stuff so i'm just going to scrape it okay so once you remove all of that you kind of cover it and just leave it a little bit open okay so we've been cooking the meat for two hours. You guys can see this is how it's looking like. So you can tell that it's getting soft, see? So it needs about 30 more minutes. So meanwhile, I cut the three potatoes and I'm gonna cook the, I'm gonna start cooking the potatoes. And here I have the three potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and cook them for about 20 to 25 minutes. We need them very soft. And then we just need 30 more minutes. For this meat. Okay, so it's been two hours and 30 minutes. So now the meat is ready. Let me show you guys. So it's nice and tender. So you go like this, it rips apart. So this is what you want your meat to be able to look like. See? It's been two hours and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the meat, put it on a plate, and the and the potatoes are also done. So you wanna make sure that they're nice and soft, see? There we go. So I cooked the meat for two hours and a half and the potatoes about 20 to 25 minutes. And I also took out the two tomatoes, a piece of garlic, and I did take out a few pieces of the onion. And also we're gonna need a half a cup of the broth that we cooked the, the meat on. And here's my potato. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my mixer out because I'm gonna show you guys how to get a nice texture for your beef taquitos. Okay, so now we're gonna shred this meat and the easiest and fastest way to shred it is to use your mixer. So I'm just gonna dump in the meat, but if you see there's any like fat like this one, just pull it to the side. Like, see this one's good. So if you see it has any fatty parts like this just remove it dump it in there a little bit here so that's this fatty part just 
dump it to this fatty part. You can just pull it out, save it to the side because it's going to go in the trash. See. There's not a lot of fatty parts on there. This meat doesn't have a lot of fat, but just take it out, pull it right out. See, save it on the side and just th and so say um, take that fatty part and then throw it in the trash. See, I'm just putting it here in the side and then I'm gonna throw that away. But that's what you do. This one has. See. <clears throat> I'm doing this with one hand, so. This is why I like this meat, because it's very doesn't have that much fat and it goes with tomatoes the garlic and half a cup of the chicken breast okay and then this just put it in here I'm gonna dump this in the trash okay we're gonna go ahead and mix this Still have the potatoes, but we're not gonna add them yet. First, I wanna go ahead and first I wanna go ahead and mix this up, and then we'll add the potatoes. See how fine the shredded the meat is. This is why I like using the hand, the mix the mixer. This is why I like doing this like this because look at that meat. See how it shreds it really nice. So this is what you want your meat to look like nice and shredded and now we're going to be adding our potato let me start by mixing it there How the mixture looks like you can't even see the potato in there and at this point you guys can go ahead and add taste it and add some salt so I'm gonna go give it a try and see so I'm gonna add a little bit of salt so you can add salt and then mix it Then mix it one more time. I don't know what's wrong with my mixer. It's kind of like bounce. And you're done. So there you go. This is what you want your meat to look like. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start shredding my cheese. This is the cheese I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna go ahead and shred it.
Oh, really? Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. What? And then what happened? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Consistency, you want to get it's almost like a glue oh. consistency. Oh. And so, here we have the mole, the cheese, the tortillas. This is the tortilla I like, and you just want to go ahead and heat them up before you start rolling. Oh, wow! Really? Go, and then these are ready. Yeah. Yeah. So, this what you do, thing. I told you the same thing. I told you, yeah. It's like you kind of, yeah, you take a little. Brush. Oh, really? And then you brush it. Oh, no. And then we take oh, our meat. No. Oh, no. And then we'll hold it down a little. Oh, wow, wow. And then what happened after that? Tell me. What happened next? Tell me. Okay, and then you just want to get a spoonful. Tell me. And then what happened? And then what happened? You take it and see. It creates a nice little glue, so instead of using toothpick, you can use that. Okay. And you'll do the rest for all of them, so just grab a little bit, just put it on the edge, and that's it. There you go. This is the reason why you don't need no toothpick. See if I stick. Oh. You can use any kind of oil. I am using. This one. And there you go. There you have it. There you go. See how easy? Better than having to use some toothpicks. So this is what I'm gonna use to make the taquitos. So this is from Cut the Carb. It is only nine carbs per sheet. They're very delicious, they're low carb, and it's great for making those taquitos. So what you do, you take a sheet. This is what it looks like. And what I do, I fold it. And there's no need to cut it with the, um, the knife. You can see how it starts making a little crease, and if you go like that, and so. And then you take it, fold it in half again, and. There you go. Fold it again and just starts breaking up. So there's no need to use scissors or knife. Just to just kind of tear it. You just fill it up, and I do not add the flour here. Um, as long as I roll it roll the little stuff it, roll the tequito, and then fry in avocado oil and just put it face down like that, it's gonna get, it won't open up, okay? That's how you do it. And this is what it looks like. So again, you just fry it in, a, in some avocado oil super quick, just a minute, and they're done. It kind of gives me like that egg roll vibe, like the crunchiness of the, of the um, flatbread tortilla, whatever you wanna call it, but it's super crunchy, see? So I know that the mixture that I made is has potato, so just remember not to add the potato to make a keto version, okay? 
plant, super yummy, super delicious, super easy.